Hi everyone! Hello. Hello. Welcome to this week's episode of Catching Up with Yoseka Stationery so, so casual. casual. I hope everyone is very well and cozy in their homes as they're watching this. Um, we're having a very brisk day here in New York. <laughs> yeah, it suddenly went like from, you know, like spring weather starting to creep into the 60s yeah. to like a high of 32 degrees Fahrenheit. This always happens in New York, mm -hmm. um, but it's good because we've added a lot of colorful stationery. It's like the colorful stationery, the spring stationery is like here, but the weather just has to like catch, catch up, up a little bit. Yes. So yeah. I'm, I'm manifesting <laughs> that this is the last cold day. <laughs> the last cold day of this year. We yeah. are into spring after this. I might have some bad news for you, but it's okay. I'll tell you later. Oh, no. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope everyone is very well wherever you're watching this, in whatever country or state you're watching this. Um, here at Yoseka, we have had a great week. Um, and one of the most exciting things that happened this week, we actually touched upon it in last week's catch Catching Up video. Um, we talked about our postcard that we designed, or Jane designed it, um, and we collaborated with Lucky Rizograph to print this uh, really adorable postcard of us, of our like little museum area in Yoseka. And um, what we have in mind for how you can get this postcard is that we actually have um, our Traveler's Partner Shop stamp, which actually arrived. It wasn't here yet at the time that we did the last Catching Up, but now it is here and it is available in store. And this is it. If you can't see, I'll hold it up close, hopefully. You can see um, it's got some really cute details in there. Um, yeah. And Ashley, actually, we talked about this last week again, but now you can see it. Yes. So, <laughs> you, did you, is this like, so Ashley drew up some possible, um, like options, Stamp options, yeah, for travelers, and then travelers is doing this with a lot of their different partner shops all around the world. So it's not like we're like the only one that has this stamp, but we, um, it is cool because it says New York City, USA, um, and this is like one of the options that you drew, or it has like elements of it, right? Yeah. So the one that I actually drew, it's like it's like slightly different. Um, the train was actually the G train. The G train. Because to get to us um, at Yoseka, you have to take the G train. We are right at the Green Point stop. Yes. Um, so I had the G train in there, but I'm not sure that they're able to use that. So yeah. they probably took that out for, you know, maybe some it was legal like, reasons. Oh, I didn't even, I thought maybe it was like too detailed or something. It might have been too detailed. Yeah. I don't know. I also had like a different border. The Metro card that you use for the subway is. Um, like a very specific shape, so I had that, but... Ah, I remember I that, think, that was so cute. Yeah, but yeah. I think this, it, it, it had to be a, a rectangle, so... Yeah, that, it's also cool because like, I guess it looks similar, it looks like very Travelers-esque, and it looks similar to a lot of the other partner shop stamps. It's cool because you can go around, theoretically, to all the different partner shops in the world yeah. and stamp this um, in your in your traveler's notebook, almost like a little passport. And that is the whole idea of Traveler's Company. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. um, that's really cool. And this is in store this week. And people have been coming all week to stamp it. And actually May did this really cute illustration drawing around this stamp. She stamped it and she drew things around it. And it's just freaking adorable. Yeah, it's so <laughs> cute. Uh, if you come to the store, um, you can see it. We have like a little, <laughs> we have a little station with the postcard and the stamp where you can stamp your own traveler's notebook. Um, and the little illustration that May did is right behind it. So make sure you check it out if you come visit us in store. Um, we also post it on TikTok, so you can check it out there. TikTok and, and Reels. Instagram. Yeah. And Reels, yeah, so, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Check it out everywhere. Yeah. Um, I think my favorite part, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, just gonna I'm go back to it. It's okay. okay. Um, <laughs> my favorite part of the stamp is that when you visit, you have this little section here to put the day that you visited. Mm. So I feel like it's really archival and nice in that way. Yeah. And Traveler's added that, and I'm like, oh, that's such a good idea. Um, so I like that part of it as well. 
It is a really nice touch. And I've already been seeing people like come to the store and they do like the cutest little decorations on the postcard with the stamp. Like these two girls came and they used like our little classic-y cat, you know, those dog and cat faces by Toroneko Bonbon mm -hmm. and they put them like all over the stamp and it was just so cute. Um, so I just, you know, I love seeing people come to the store, actually use this postcard that we put our heart and soul into and then like stamp the traveler's thing on it and then put your own touch on it. Yeah. So be sure to show us how you decorate your postcard when you come here next time. Yes. Um, okay. Definitely. Yeah. So aside from that, we actually had a very full week in terms of adding new stationery. And uh, it's quite a colorful selection of things here on the table that we have. We added tons of new Uniball One pens. We were just joking a couple of weeks ago about how I can't keep track of these Uniball One colors. And here we are, we have new sets. Can't even oh, hold them so all. Many. A lot of sets of new Uniball One colors. These ones, these like retro uh, pop and uh, basic colors, these are from like December 2021. We just couldn't get them till just now. But the, these ones, the um, City Pop, the yes. City Pop colors, um, these are new, new, and a lot of people have been loving these. And I just love seeing like the illustration on the yeah, packaging. It's so cute. Really cute. Yeah, like genius. Mm -hmm. um, but if you ask me what colors are in there, I don't know if I'll be able to tell you because there's just too many to count. There's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot. Um, so new Uniball One colors in sets, uh, new ink from Ink Institute, new transfer stickers from Midori. These are so cute. These are really, really so cute, so well done. Obviously, Midori was like, we know that transfer stickers are huge right now, but just give us a little time because we're gonna blow you away. Yeah. <laughs> so they were a little late to the game, but these are worth the wait for sure. So cute. Yeah. I'll, I'll show them. I know Christine did an unboxing video for right. these. So if you want to learn a little bit more about the artists that illustrated these, you can check out the unboxing video for that. Um, yeah, these are super, super cute, and I mm. love the, the style that they're in. Yeah, they're so cute. Um, and then, speaking of transfer stickers, we have new MU Mu transfer stickers, and these are um, in their classically beautiful, like always pretty designs. Um, it's cool to see that they're always like thinking of new things yeah. to come out with. Um, so yeah, we added lots of new things. What do you think is your... My favorite. favorite this week is, last but not least, we added Le Pen! Yeah! Which is like really nostalgic for me because um, like I love all the colors that they come in. They have like all these nice looking basic but also vintage colors. Mm -hmm. So I like all of those, but my favorite That's are not actually, even all the colors. I know. Yeah. There's so many. There's also some neon ones. So I love those. I got obsessed with neon for a little bit. There was like a phase I went through. I really liked neon. Are you talking about last year? Yes. Okay. Really last year. You say it like it was like when you were a teenager, when you were eight years old. I'm like, are you talking about last year? No, it was literally last year when I got obsessed with neon. And so if these were around back then, I would have gone crazy for them. Um, but they come in like, like you know, the basic felt tip or a soft brush tip, which yeah. is pretty nice if you like to use those. And but it's really fine. It's, it's like so not your typical fine. felt tip. It's very fine felt tip. It's like I don't know if you can see microscopic. So felt tip. tiny. Yeah. But the reason why these are nostalgic for me is because when I was in grade school, I had a friend who brought one of these in once, and oh. I think it was like her dad's actually, and. Her dad was an architect. I don't know if that has anything to do with the pen. So but, cool. Um, she brought the pen into school and was just like writing with it for homework. And I was like, dude, can, can, I, can I use that pen? Can I use that pen? And she was like, oh yeah, sure. And so it was just like a basic black or blue one, I think. The packaging was a little bit different because um, mm. it was older. Mm. Um, but it became my favorite pen. And, and I like didn't want to give it back to her. And she oh, was, like, so I was going to say, did you have one? You no, never I, had didn't. One. I didn't. Have one. Um, <gasps> And she was like, do, do you want to just keep it? Because I kept using it. Aww. So I kept that one. It, so it's sweet. like, um, I think it looks like the uh, razor point pens that we have. Another felt tip one. Oh. Except it was a lead pen. Are you for sure? sure. Mm -hmm. I'm 100% oh. sure. But it looked like that blue. It was. It looked like that. that, that oh. It was definitely. 
It was a Le Pen. Yes. How interesting. Actually, I was I have a nostalgic story about the Le Pen too because when really? I was in high school, I was obsessed with pens as I still am, obviously, no surprise there. But um, I did research online and I was like, what is the best pen? And I Googled it and Le Pen came up. When This is when I was in high school and I was like, okay, this must be the best pen. But I couldn't find the pen anywhere. It's not like you can go to like CVS and find yeah. your pen. You know, you have to go to like a specialty pen shop like Yoseka. So um, for years, I had this on my wish list for Christmas. For years. Really? I was like, I want Le Pen. I told all my friends. I told my parents. <laughs> I never got one. <laughs> Ever. So these are like life goals. Yeah. Really yeah. Like yeah, I'm really closing the circle on this dream of mine, okay? <laughs> so I might, you funny. might see some tears being shed oh over my God. here. <laughs> Everyone has a, an emotional connection to yeah. Le Pen, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So, um... Yeah, Le Pen, we're really excited to have them here. They're not French, they're from Japan, as the name the name might be a little deceiving, but um, they're really nice thin felt tip pens in all the colors that you can dream of. Um, yes. Okay. But besides the Le Pen, did you have a favorite this week? Oh yeah, um, I think that the thing that stood out for me the most was also the thing that I happened to do an unboxing video on, mm. and these are the Ink Institute New Inks. Um, I can't decide what I love most. Like, they have these new vintage gray mixer inks. Um, and these inks are meant to be inked into your pen. And then you're supposed to dip the tip of the pen into another color of ink. And then shading occurs. Mm -hmm. um, not forever, obviously, because you're just dipping the tip into it. But just for like a little, a few sentences or something, like some cool shading will occur. So I did um, an unboxing video and these are sort of like some writing samples that I did. Um, and you can see there's like a cool gradient effect that occurs. And um, yeah, it's really kind of just fun. I felt like a little bit like a mad scientist trying yeah. to like make all these color combinations. And um, it's just a lot of fun to see different colors unfold because if you have a very, for some reason, like even though you might have like a collection of 50 inks, you still get sick of those colors, I yeah, think. Yeah, like, you love the colors. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, it can, it can get a little, um, you know. Like stale. Mundane. Yeah, yeah like yeah, even yeah. me, like we have a selection of like hundreds of inks at our fingertips at any given time and I'm just like, oh, I want another color. Yeah, <laughs> like, maybe just like a little yeah. different, yeah. add a little spice to it. So these are kind of fun for that. They kind of like jazz up your ink collection um, and they're just kind of fun to like dip and play around with because you get different colors with each dip as you go also. So, um, I don't know, I highly recommend. Um, we will probably be doing some ink samples of these two. Uh, I just haven't gotten around to it. We're so behind on our ink samples. <laughs> <laughs> I've been really excited about the ink samples. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, well, I will get around to making some ink sample listings available for these two, just so you can kind of see and experiment before if you want, you don't necessarily want to commit to like the whole bottle or something. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's kind of it for all the new stationery that we added. As you can tell, we we're very excited about all of these new things, um, especially the nostalgic the pens. Yes. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Um, as always, we like to talk about our customer friend, friend of the, the week. week. Um, and this week, I spent a little bit of time in the shop over the weekend. And you know, typically, it's so busy in the shop on the weekends that I don't really get to have like a conversation with someone, and I very rarely get to like stop and get to know someone. But this past weekend, I did um, have a chance to chat with somebody who visited the store. And I didn't get your name, I'm so sorry, but you did leave me your Instagram handle, at Tatfu. He wrote this for me and I accidentally ripped it and I scribbled <laughs> over it too. But, um, <laughs> at Tatfu, you left your Instagram handle for me. You came and you had the cutest little handmade leather bound notebooks that fit in the palm of my hand and they're for ink swatching and you came you brought your own dip pen 
you brought your own jar of water to clean out your dip pen and you were just like, can I swatch these inks? And you were just happily swatching. I know, you didn't even That's know this, so right? That's so impressive, no, I didn't so know that cute. part. It was so cute, he would be having this whole setup and he told me all about how he makes his own inks. Did you know? What? Did you know I walnut did. inks are made from not the, I asked him, not the shell of the walnuts, not the nut itself, but the husk. So like, I imagine it's kind of like a corn husk, like, you know, those hairy bits? Yeah. Like, I think when you open the shell of a walnut, it's like those hairy bits. Oh, the fibers. Mm. The fibers, yeah. And then you can make ink from it. And I was like, but where do you get walnut husks? And he told me, just at the park. <laughs> yeah, just at the park. So he, this guy goes walking around the park in New York City and just collects husk, 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 and makes his ink. Wait, that's so cool. Yeah. That's literally like a little like elf quest. That is so amazing. I know. You like just forage around in the in the forest, then you come out with ink material. I that's love amazing. it. I love it. And then he showed me the color that was swatched in his book, and it was beautiful. So um, thank you, Tatfu. I don't think that's your name, but that's your Instagram handle, and that's what I'm gonna call you for now. Thank you so much for coming by, enjoying your time in the store, getting to chat with me a little bit, and really teaching me something about inks that I didn't know. I really appreciate it. And um, yeah, anyone else, like, tell me, t feel free to teach me more yeah. about do you, anything. Do you make ink? Come, yeah. come talk to me next, because I'd love yeah. to know too. <laughs> teach us, teach us, we love it. Yeah, <laughs> um, so cool. Yeah. All right. Well, I think that is it that for is this it. week. Yeah. Yes, it was a very fun week. Yes. But um, as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Yeah, see you. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.